Have you guys ever wanted to create your very own website, perhaps a blog to start making money online? That's what I'm going to show you guys how to do in this simple Green Geek tutorial, take you step by step through the process of creating your very own website within minutes. If you guys are new here to this channel for learningnet.com and this is the very first time that you guys are stopping by, hit the uh, subscribe button right below along with the bell and that way any future videos that I upload about WordPress, marketing, SEO, you guys will be sure to receive them. So um, today we're going to be doing a brief uh, Green Geeks a tutorial showing you guys how to create your very own website online. Um, I've been online for several years, guys. LearningNet.com is one of uh, many websites that I have online and I uh, work with WordPress, being that it's very simple, easy to use. And I highly recommend it for beginners like you, especially if you've never created a website online and you just want to do it the simple way, okay? Um, some things that we're going to be talking about today in this uh, tutorial is about domain names, web hosting. We're going to be talking about how to promote you know, your website online. Uh, obviously, if you're creating it, you want to make money with it. And the only way you can make money with a website of any kind, no matter how good it looks, you need to promote it online. So I'm going to be talking about some ways that you can do that that are free and also some paid ways that are really great for beginners like yourself to uh, implement to really get your brand, you know, out there. OK, um, so I've been using Green Geese for quite some time and I really love uh, their web hosting They're really great customer support, great resources for beginners, entrepreneurs and bloggers online. And I just thought I'd take a few moments out today to show you guys how to create a website using uh, Green Geeks. OK, um, so I'm assuming that you already have a domain name and web hosting. Those are the only two things that you need to be able to create a website online. If you don't already have your domain name and web hosting, there is a link that's right below. It's the very first one, guys. Click on that one. Click on that link. And when you do, it's just going to open up to Green Geek's uh, main page, which, which looks like this. Uh, it is an affiliate link. I may receive credit if you guys purchase your web hosting through it. But it allows uh, a little support for this channel to keep it going. And also, it'll give you guys a free domain name today, along with a deep discount on your web hosting. And also, you guys will benefit in this Green Geek tutorial by uh, not having to go out and outsource or pay perhaps like a developer hundreds or even thousands of dollars to create a simple website like I'm going to show you guys today. OK, so I really appreciate your support by using the affiliate link that's right below for Green Geeks in this uh, tutorial. So if you if you don't have that already, you guys will notice that Green Geeks has uh, different types of web hosting that you have uh, access to. There's a uh, shared web hosting. There's a WordPress specific hosting. They also have a hosting for like VPS if you want like your own virtual private server. And there's also what's called reseller hosting itself. I wanted to explain briefly what each of these uh, really is. That way you guys will know, especially if you've never created a website online before. So um, with WordPress hosting itself, it's true. We're going to be creating a website using WordPress, but you don't really need to have WordPress specific uh, hosting itself to do it. There are a lot of bells and whistles that come with it, all of which you may not need, you know, as a beginner. So I highly recommend that you use uh, what's called uh, the shared hosting itself. It's very basic. It's all that you'll need and it'll give you guys all the resources uh, that you'll need to create and manage your website online. Going back to VPS hosting, it's really for people that have high volumes of traffic already. Um, if you're a beginner, you don't have that online. And so you don't really need to spend more money uh, for your, your business online purchasing VPS uh, hosting itself. So I don't recommend it at all. Uh, it's great, but I don't recommend it at all for beginners. Um, you can scale up to it as your business, you know, gains traction online and you gain more visitors uh, for your business online. OK, reseller hosting is really for people that want to uh, start like their very own web hosting business. So you want to start a web hosting business and you want to outsource uh, web hosting packages to other people for profit. That's what web that's what reseller hosting is. You're starting a web hosting business um, out of the gate. So you don't need reseller hosting. You don't need VPS hosting, no WordPress hosting. I just want you to get uh, the shared hosting itself. You can click on this uh, button right there. Click on that. And once you do, guys, you'll see the three plans that you can select from if you don't have a plan already. 
There's a light pro and premium. The light allows you to create one website online. The pro and premium allow you to create unlimited sites online. I'm currently using the pro plan. I really like it. Um, of course, you know, the pro and premium allow you to create multiple websites online, but um, I like the pro. It has everything that I need. The premium is like a step up and it does have some added features and resources with it, but I don't think you really need it. Uh, if you're doing like affiliate marketing, network marketing, and you want to create maybe like several websites, you know, online for different niches, then I highly recommend just going with the pro guys. I think it'll do everything that you need and more uh, without, you know, really stepping up to the premium. That's just my honest opinion. Okay. So go with the pro um, and you, you're going to click on get started guys. And the very next page, you're going to be uh, selecting a domain name itself. And the cool thing about Green Geeks is that you'll get it for free for your very first year. And I think it's a really good deal because, you know, when you purchase domain names online, it typically costs about $20, I'd say more or less, give or take, depending on where you're purchasing it at. For example, if you go to like GoDaddy and you purchase a domain name online, then it costs roughly about that. It used to be about $15. GoDaddy has kind of gone up, you know, with the pricing. So uh, $20, it's like a $20 savings, if you will, that you're getting today, you know, with Green Geeks. Okay, great. So once you select or pick out your domain name itself, you know, you can obviously do it like with a .com. You can do a .net, a .org, a .info, a .biz. Uh, there's several top level domain names itself, guys, that you guys will have at your disposal for uh, really branding yourself, you know, online itself. <clears throat> What do I recommend that you guys do? Uh, we're learning at dot com. I stuck with a dot com. It's just easy. Uh, learning that itself is a very simple, easy to remember domain name itself is an easy uh, website to remember for visitors that I get from all around the world. And so what I recommend, guys, that you do today uh, for the Screen Geeks of tutorials is select a domain name that is simple, easy to remember, doesn't have like any numbers or dashes or anything crazy like that in the name of the website. You just want to make it simple and easy for your visitors to remember when they visit your website and obviously return, you know, uh, in the future. Okay, great. So once you do that, you get your domain name, you're going to be purchasing your web hosting itself. So depending on the plan itself that you guys uh, are selecting today, be it the light pro or premium, you're going to have the option guys of uh, selecting like a one year's term, two years term or three years. And what that means is that you're paying for your web hosting up front. Uh, what I recommend for beginners online is to purchase more web hosting up front. I recommend doing at least three years. Um, you do that when it renews after three years, it's just going to, the price is going to increase. And that's the case, not only with Green Geeks, but with any web hosting provider, you know, online. But Green Geeks is super cheap. It's like the cheapest of web hosting that you'll find online. And for that reason, I recommend them to you guys. Um, also, I wanted to highlight that Green Geeks has a 30 day money back guarantee. So if any moment that you guys feel that Green Geeks is not for you, they have amazing customer support. Contact them. You get your money back and you'll be on your way to your next host. Um, so I've been with Green Geeks for quite some time. Highly recommend them to beginners like yourselves to create websites online. Any of these three plans, plans that you, you feel is best for you. Click on get started. And uh, once you guys set up your account, you get your domain name, you get your web hosting, you set up your account, you're going to receive a credentials to your email for a username and password that allow you to log into your account. And from there, you'll be able to gain access to what's called cPanel, which uh, looks like this. So this is a cPanel, guys. This is really where the work starts, you know, for your website itself. You notice that it's kind of divvied into different subsections, such as files, databases, you have access to different resources for SEO, helping you to really market your website and to rank high in the search engines itself. I mean, obviously, if you're creating the website and, you know, you want to make money from it, you need to have it to rank high in the search engines on Google's first page itself. So, the, so these are some free tools that you have at your disposal when you get started today with Green Geeks and you have access to them in your uh, cPanel itself, okay? Domains, this uh, subsection right here lets you see how many domains that you actually have with Green Geeks. If you have like the uh, the pro or the premium plans, um, you can add on domains. If you have the light, you can't do that. So if you want to add on or create additional websites, 
uh, in different niches, you can do that with this tab right here where it says add on domains. Redirects guys are really for people that want to like, you want to take a domain, say like the domain, name, the domain itself that you have today. If you want to like redirect it to maybe like an affiliate offer, maybe for like ClickBank, Amazon, uh, whatever it is that you're doing, you know, online, if you want to redirect it to another URL, you can do that by uh, clicking on this button that's right there. You can also set up email accounts for your business uh, for unlimited websites that you have, you know, with Green Geeks. This section is really nice right here for metrics. It lets you know how many visitors are coming, you know, to your websites itself. How is it that they're making it there? What keywords are typing in to land on your web page? How long they're staying on your page? This is really nice coupled with things like your Google Analytics, Google Console. Um, you can really compare and see, again, uh, how many visitors are coming, you know, to your website. So it's a very, very valuable tool, I think, uh, to help you to manage, you know, your website online. You know, as for me, with LearningNet.com and all of my websites that are online, I get visitors from all around the world, from Europe, uh, get the U.S., obviously, uh, get them from uh, Asia, any and everywhere you can imagine. I get tons of visitors each and every month uh, to my website. And I can measure that, you know, through Google Analytics. I can also look at the metrics section to really uh, see how people are landing, you know, to my website itself. So I just wanted to take a few moments, guys, out in the Screen Geeks of tutorial just to talk about some basic things that all beginners should know and understand about, you know, creating websites uh, online. This uh, section down here with apps, um, as I mentioned before in the beginning of this Green Geeks tutorial, you can create a website with virtually any CMS platform out there. WordPress is the most popular one out there. There's Joomla, Drupal, Magento, PrestaShop. Um, it really doesn't matter what uh, app or software that you're using to create your site. The steps that we're going to go through today, you can uh, replicate it using any software that you desire. Okay, it's the same steps. You're just going to be, if you want to use like a different software, you can do that. It's up to you. But for beginners, I just want you to stick with WordPress. Okay. Great. So this is the C panel itself. I just wanted to go through it. That way you guys understand the ins and outs of it. And what is it that you have access to upon getting started today with uh, Green Geeks. Okay. And if you guys have any questions at all about this uh, Green Geeks tutorial, uh, drop them right below. I do respond to my comments from my visitors. Um, <clears throat> I, I just ask a little bit of patience. Obviously, the channel, I get lots of questions with all of the videos that I have, you know, on this channel. So just a little patience, but I will respond to your uh, questions that you have because I want you guys to be successful and I want you to be able to do this uh, the right way. OK, great. So if you logged into your cPanel, just like me, what I want you to do right now is to click on uh, WordPress. Do that right now. Click on WordPress. The very next page that you'll get will be something like this. And I want you to click on install now. Do that. And I want you to select the domain name itself that you want to create um, your site, you know, with itself. So in this case, I'm going to be using blogging.money. This is a domain name that I purchased online itself. And you can see that the dot money itself is the actual extension. So um, I told you that you can get like a dot com, dot net, dot org, dot info, dot. Uh, there's so many types of extensions out there, top level domains, if you will, that you have access to to create your website online. It's really your, your decision. But for the purpose of this Green Geeks tutorial, I wanted to use this uh, for you guys today. OK, great. So once you select the uh, domain name itself that you're going to create your uh, website with, the next thing that you want to do is type in the name of your site itself. So whatever the name of your site is, you're going to type that in here. So I'm just going to type in something, you know, random, right? My blogging website, you can type in whatever the name of your website is going to be, you're going to type it in right there where it says site name, where it says site description. This is going to be a tagline, guys, of what people should expect to learn about on your website itself. So if you're selling products, promoting X product, you want to put a site description, uh, just an overall idea or nitbit of what your visitors can expect to learn or purchase, uh, you know, on your website itself. OK, so I'm going to type in something. I'm just going to type in, let's see. So 
So I'm going to type in my Green Geeks WordPress tutorial. I'm just playing with this, guys. Just want to show you guys how this works. Again, you're going to type in an overall um, uh, like tagline itself that really describes what your business is about. OK, great. So I'm going to for this uh, tutorial, I'm going to type in that my Green Geeks WordPress tutorial. The very next thing that you want to do is just drop down. And what you're going to do right now is go where it says admin username. And what I want you to do right here, guys, is I want you to type in, I want you to type in a username itself that you're going to use for your website itself. Now, this is not going to be the same username that you got, you know, for your account with Green Geeks. You know, obviously they emailed you um, an admin username itself along with a password. That would allow you to gain access to like the back end of your website, if you will. This username right here is going to be specifically for this website that you're creating right now with uh, Green Geeks. OK, so I'm just going to type in blogging. That's what I'm going to type in. You can type in whatever you want. It just depends on whatever your website is about. But this is going to be a username that you're going to um, have, you know, to log into your website. The next thing we're going to do right here, guys, I want you to type in a password. And again, this password will allow you to log into the back end of your website. And don't worry, guys, if you don't understand what I'm talking about. If you're totally new online and you've never created a website using WordPress, don't worry about it. I'm going to show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. All right. So I'm going to type in a password. And I recommend, guys, that you type in a password that's probably like eight to ten characters, something like that. And uh, you want to make it difficult. That way it's strong and nobody can just guess it. You don't want to use anything crazy like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nothing like that consecutive. No consecutive letters, no consecutive numbers. Uh, because you don't want somebody to easily guess it and gain access to your website. OK, I uh, hope you understand, you know what I'm saying here. So uh, right now, what I want you to do is to type in. I want you to type in an email that you want to use in conjunction to this particular website itself. So basically, anytime you receive any communications from WordPress, let's say that WordPress does like an update with the software itself. It's updating, you know, your website. You get an email about that. OK. And also when uh, your customers uh, reach out to you and they have questions and they want to shoot you an email, this is the email itself that will receive, you know, that communication. It's also used in the event you guys get locked out of your website itself. So if you forget the password, you know, that you set up today, the eight to 10, you know, characters that you set up, you forgot it for some reason, you're locked out of your website. Again, WordPress is going to utilize this very email to help you to regain entry to your website. OK, so I just wanted to explain how this works in this Green Geeks uh, tutorial. The next uh, subsection, guys allows you to select the language of your website. So you may be situated here in the US, but maybe you have visitors that are from Europe, maybe they're from Asia, maybe they're from somewhere else. And so you just want to think about the language that your visitors will be viewing your content in. And so it's really great that, you know, WordPress gives you this option. If you click the drop down, you see different languages. Arabic, Catalan, Dutch, French, Greek, Hebrew, Polish, Spanish, Swedish, all of these languages that are here, guys. And it's really great, again, that you have like complete control over the management of your website, even with the language in which um, your, your website's content appears in. So for the purpose of this Green Geek tutorial, I'm just going to leave it at English at default. When you get to this next section for selecting plugins, these are some uh, options for plugins. I'm going to talk more about plugins uh, very shortly, but plugins just really give you give your website functionality. Uh, they allow you to do things that you can't do without them. I like to compare, you know, plugins to like apps for your phone. I mean, I have like a I have an iPhone what seven that I have here. I don't know what you guys have. You know, you let me know down below. But you know, maybe you have an iPhone or you have a, an Android, right? And on it, you have apps that allow you to do things that uh, really just facilitate or make your life easier. And so uh, WordPress plugins do just that. Uh, when you're doing the WordPress installation, you have an, you have uh, some options out of the gate that you can uh, select, you know, off bat uh, by default. You can see that uh, Lightspeed Cache is already selected for us. This is a really, really great plugin, guys. 
for promoting fast performance with your website. Uh, I want you to remember that for websites that rank high in the search engines, uh, it's really dependent on a lot of things. Obviously, you know, your content that, you know, you're publishing on your website, but speed is another factor per Google. And so people like websites that load fast. Websites that load slow may deter your visitors. And of course, they may, uh, you know, bounce off your website and just go to your competitor. So Lightspeed Cache is one of many plugins that are out there that you have, you know, at your disposal to help to promote fast uh, page loads. So I just wanted to explain, you know, what that is. Okay. Uh, the classic editor, I'm going to click on that one right there. Uh, I'm going to show you what that is a little bit later on. You can see some others that are here. You don't have to click on these. Elementor is a page builder, guys, that allows you to build out your website itself. You can do it all yourself. You can create individual pages like an about me page or about us page or a services page or a privacy page, what have you. You can do each individual page by yourself if you want to, or you can utilize a, um, uh, a build a page builder like Elementor that will build them out for you. OK, and so it's totally optional for you if you want or don't want to do it. OK, um, so this is just one place where you can opt to do it. Now, the next uh, section that you'll see right here will give you access to some themes. So themes, guys, really just give appearance to your website itself. It really just determines what your website will look like once you uh, take it, you know, live. OK, so you'll notice that right here, if you hover over where it says all, you'll see different themes. So if you want to think about like the overall theme of, you know, like your business itself, um, you want to you can select or pick out themes, you know, right here if you want to. Now, you don't have to pick out a theme right here. There's another portion of this tutorial where I show you guys exactly how to do it. Uh, there are like over 11,000 WordPress, you know, themes that you have, you know, available to you uh, at, at, on the uh, depository. And I'll show you guys more about that. But these themes that we're looking at right now, they're what are called like premium, you know, style themes. And what I'll do is I'll drop a link, drop some links right below for some other recommended premium themes, guys, that are like super, super professional. I drop links right below and you guys can check those out as well. And that way you have access to, again, uh, some better options uh, for your the appearance of your website itself. OK, so if you just scroll down, guys, you'll see a handful of themes that are here. And again, these are themes that uh, Green Geeks is giving you during the setup of your website itself. So if you see one here that you really like and it jumps out at you, what you can do is simply just click, you know, on the actual uh, theme itself and you can see, you know, what it looks like. Just to show you guys an example, you know, of that, let's say I was interested in this from right here for educator. So I click on it and it's going to give me an overall look of the website. This is what the website will look like if you selected this theme itself. OK, and you'll notice that um, you'll, it'll come with four pages already built. So if you have a website that you're creating where you're going to be selling courses online, this might be a good theme to use to educate a theme. And you'll see if you want to look at like each individual page, just click on it. Super simple, right? You can scroll down and you can see what the website will look like. And obviously what you guys can do is just customize this, you know, to, you know, with your information, with your address, your phone number and all that. Super simple, guys. And again, you can see what the overall layout will look like. But again, this is just one place of many where you can, you know, grab uh, themes. If you like this theme, click select theme. And once we install WordPress on our actual website itself or on our domain, I should say, um, you're going to see this theme itself live on the site itself. Let's say you don't like this theme. You want to, you know, take a look at some others. It really just depends on what you guys are really into. Again, you don't have to install a theme right now. You can do it later on. Really doesn't matter. Uh, what does matter is that you guys find something that really represents you, right? So this is a really nice one that's right there for like traveling. This is really cool too, like that. And you'll see that with this one right here, this is really cool. I like that. So just checking this uh, theme out, it's really cool. And again, you have an about page. There's a contact page. There's a home page, services page. And if you offer like several services, right, for your business that you're trying to set up, 
this may be a good theme, you know, to go with, right? And so again, this is totally customizable. These images come like pre and built, you know, with it. But I mean, you can change the background and put whatever you want there. It really just depends on what you want, guys. So just to get an example of what this looks like, I'm just going to use this theme right here. That way you guys can see, you know, how this works. It really doesn't matter what theme that you guys use. I mean, you can always change it later, um, you know, through this process. But again, I just wanted to show you how this works. OK, so the next thing that you want to do is you want to drop down to the very bottom. And right here where it says email installation details too, you want to plug in your email again. You want to do that because once you install WordPress on your actual domain name itself and your website is created, you're going to get a confirmation of this, guys, to your email. So let's do that together. All right. Great. So once you plug in your email, you're just going to click on install. And the process of installing WordPress, guys, it takes just a few moments to do it. And I really like how easy it is because Green Geeks is doing all the hard work for you. You don't need to know, uh, you know, all about the ins and outs of WordPress. I mean, with WordPress, they're going to take care of the process for you with installing it on your domain. And you'll be good to go with, uh, again, starting to customize your website to your liking. OK, so great. So you should get a screen that's like this. If you don't have this, drop a comment right below and let me know. That way I can reach out to you and make sure you have what I have on the screen right here. Great. So it says, congratulations. The software was installed successfully. Uh, what this means, guys, in a nutshell, is that your website is live right now on the Internet. If you want to see what it looks like, just uh, click on the, the link itself. And I'm just going to open it up in another page. And that way you guys can see the website live. OK, so great. This is the site itself. You can see that it's not too crazy looking. It's just very plain. But again, it's a live website on the internet right now. You can see obviously the title of the site, my blog and website. The uh, tagline that I plugged in there was my Green Geeks WordPress tutorial. This right here is a default uh, post right here. It says hello world. This is there anytime you guys install um, a new, uh, you install WordPress on a new domain name. So anytime you create a new website, you're going to always have this default post right here. Of course, you can delete it later. I'll show you how to do that. But again, I just wanted to show you guys that, again, you have a live website on the Internet. And so it's really plain right now, guys. You don't see any, you know, like uh, there's no like content, you know, on the page. Obviously, there's no coloring. It's just plain. Uh, and this is something that you can change, you know, through the process of this uh, Green Geeks tutorial that I wanted to share with you guys today. So the next thing that we want to do together, guys, is we want to gain access to the back end of this website that we're creating. OK, so to do that, what you want to do is click on here. This is the admin URL. And as you guys will see, guys, you'll see your actual domain name itself. Like in my case, it's www.blogging.money. The dot money is the extension itself, right? that I, you know, select it, but yours may say like .com, it may say .net, .org, what have you. But whatever your extension is, it doesn't matter. What you're going to see following that or tailing it is a forward slash WP admin. What you can do with this, guys, you can bookmark it because every time that you want to log in to your website itself, you, you remember, guys, that we set up a username and a password. That was, you know, like it was a strong password itself. That's what you're going to use to be able to log into the back end of this website. So being that we're already logged in together on um, this WordPress site itself, you know, once we click on this admin URL, it just opens up to this page right here. And this is what's called the dashboard of your website itself. What are you looking at right here? Well, anytime you log into your website itself, you type in your website xyzdomain.com forward slash WP admin and you plug in your um, your user and your password, you're going to get a page that looks just like this. And just to show you guys what I'm talking about, I'm just going to log out of it. That way you guys can see what it is that I'm talking about. OK, so great. So once you plug in blogging.money forward slash WP admin, I just want you guys to see what this looks like. You're going to get a page that looks like this. So whatever your name, the name of your domain name was xyzdomain.com forward slash WP dash admin. You're going to get a page that looks like this. And what you're going to do here is you're going to plug in the username that you selected and you're going to plug in the password. 
I promise that I wanted to show you. I wanted to show this to you guys in this uh, Green Geeks tutorial. You click on login. It's just going to bring you back to this page right here. So I just wanted to show you guys how that works. Uh, that way you don't get lost. You can always get back into your website. All right. Great. Just a few things that I wanted to share with you going through this Green Geeks tutorial, uh, especially if you've never created a website online. You guys have noticed that on the sidebar here, you have several options that again, will allow you to better manage, you know, your website itself. So just going back to the steps, guys, that we had here, you know, obviously you have your domain name, you have uh, your web hosting, we've installed WordPress with step three. Uh, what we're going to be doing next in the game, guys, is really just installing a WordPress theme. So we did one initially out the gate, but I wanted to show you guys how to select other themes that may fit more, you know, like the genre, the industry that you guys are working in. All right. But we're going to go back to the dashboard. And I just wanted to, before we really get into, you know, the theme selections or showing you how to change up your themes, you know, periodically, I wanted to show you what you're looking at, you know, right here. So if you want to add posts uh, or change posts, you know, on your actual blog itself, this is how you're going to do it. You can select post. And you can see all of the posts that you have right here if you want. And when you click on all, you'll see that hello world that we had right here. We're just going to delete it, trash it. We don't need it. Again, that's just a default post that every, um, you know, website has when you install, you know, WordPress on it. If you click on add new, this is how you can add, um, you know, content to your website itself. So if I click on, let's say if I plug in like some random content that I have here. Let's see if it works. Great. So I'm going to just type in some content right there, right here. I'm going to plug in my title so I can plug in my title guys. And again, whatever it is that you guys are promoting online, this is what you're going to do. And this is just an example. I just wanted to show you guys how this works. Okay. So this is just an example of how to set up like posts, create posts and actually publish them, you know, online. So once you plug in your title and by the way, me personally, I like to use long tail keywords. Uh, they're very specific, just like you guys found this website today. You wanted to know how to create a website using green geeks. So you found this green geeks tutorial. It's a long tail keyword. When you start creating content online, you want to do just that. And that way, again, your website will rank higher, your posts will rank higher, you know, in the search engines. And of course, you'll make money by doing that. You can categorize it by simply like adding a category to it right there. So if you want to do, I don't know, I can type in like tutorials, what have you. I can put whatever I want. Really doesn't matter. Just want to categorize it. And what you can do right here, guys, is plug in your tags for your actual content itself. So this will be more or less, you know, what, again, the overall idea, you know, of this blog, I could type in like WordPress tutorial, Green Geeks WordPress tutorial. I can type in how to create a website, whatever your website is going to be about, whatever this post is going to be about, you can type in your tags, you know, right there, guys. And so once you uh, scroll down and you finish and everything looks good, what you can do is you can preview it. And if you like what you see and you have all your links and your content the way that you want it. And again, I just wanted to grab some random, you know, content itself and just plug it in there. That way you guys can see, you know, how this works in this tutorial. If you like what you see, you can, you know, obviously, you know, add like images to this by adding media. So if you have pictures like on your actual desktop that are already saved, you know, on your computer, just click on add media and you can upload those pictures in the actual content itself and that way again you can make it more personal you can hyperlink plug in links you know right there by simply just typing on that so if i wanted to like hyperlink and plug in something like right there i can just type in a link let's say the link is you know green geeks something like that and basically when a person clicks you know on this link guys it'll take them to Green Geeks uh, website. Um, you can you can do a direct uh, transfer over, or you can. What I like to do is open it up in another page. So I click on that link, or open it up in another tab rather. 
And I like to do that because, you know, when you're creating content online, you know, for your WordPress website or any website, you want people to like stay on your page itself. You don't want them to like leave, you know, your page itself. So that's something that I do typically, you know, with the posts, I'll open it up. You know, if you look at different posts that are on my uh, website at learningnet.com, just about every link uh, that redirects like a visitor somewhere else, it's always opening up in another tab. That way the customer can always come back uh, to my website should they want to. So I just wanted to show you guys, you know, how that works with, um, you know, the actual post itself. The same is true with um, what I'm going to do. I'm just going to trash this. I don't want to keep it. But I just wanted to show you guys, you know, get how this works with uh, creating, you know, posts. The same is true with pages. You can do the same thing, guys, with your pages. You can uh, title your page. You have a privacy page uh, right here that's already created for you, which I highly recommend keeping. The sample page itself, you can get rid of it. Or if you want to keep it, you can change the title of it, you know, with that. And simply put, just click on edit. And when you click on edit, guys, I mean, this is the page that you'll see. And again, you can change it to like, you know, about us, services, whatever it is that you want to do, you know, for your website itself. And obviously there's some pre, um, there's some information that's already here. Uh, you can change that, obviously, and make it more personable, more customizable to what it is that you guys, you know, want to do. So again, I just wanted to share with you how that works you know, in this case. Okay. But I'm just going to trash this. I'm not going to keep it, but I just wanted to share with you guys how that really, works. before we move on to selecting, you know, themes itself. All right. Great. So what I want you to do is click on appearance and go to themes. Now it's true that we install a theme on our website when we install WordPress, we did that together, right? But let's suppose that you want to change your theme to something else. You want to pick out something else that really fits you. Uh, when you click on themes, you get this page right here. And these are the themes that you currently have on your website right now. These are pre-installed. Just about any installation that you do for WordPress, you'll always have maybe three or four different themes that are already here. If you want to see what they look like, just click on preview. And if you like the actual preview of the website that you're looking at, you can activate it and you'll have that actual theme on your website live okay but what i wanted to do in the screen geek tutorial guys is to show you how to gain access to other wordpress themes right i'm gonna i'm gonna drop some links right below of some uh premium style themes itself that are more professional they're way better than the ones that i'm showing you right now but again i wanted to show you right here where you can gain access to again there's well over eleven thousand, you know uh wordpress themes that you have access to but i'll drop some links right below for some other options for some premium style themes that are more professional uh, to set up websites online. So you notice guys that you have different topics such as feature, popular, latest, and favorites. If you just scroll down guys, I mean, you'll see these are some feature WordPress themes that are here, which are really nice. If you go to like popular, you can see some really popular themes that are here. And where it says installed, obviously we already have those pre-installed on our page itself. Astro is a really nice uh, theme. It's actually the theme that I'm using for learningnet.com right now. It's really nice and I highly recommend it. It's very lightweight, SEO friendly, and I think that uh, it really contributes to, you know, websites ranking a lot higher. But again, your WordPress theme that you select is really just one of many factors. Um, that are out there. If you want something lightweight that has like really great ratings, you know, online by the WordPress community, and Astra is just one of many that are out there, guys. But again, I just wanted to share with you where you can go to find other WordPress uh, themes. So this is a really nice one, Ocean WP. The need theme is a uh, really great too. But what I want to show you guys is how to find something more specific. So let's say that you are doing, I just want to throw out some different keywords because what you're going to be doing is typing in keywords where it says search themes. Obviously, we don't have time in this Green Geeks uh, tutorial to go over all of the 11,000 WordPress themes that are out there, well over 11,000. We don't have time for that. But what I'm going to do is show you a really quick way to go about finding something that fits you. So just think about the overall keyword that describes your business. Whatever your business or your industry is centered around, I want you to think about the overall keyword that describes it, okay? So I'm going to type in, for example, food. 
So I'll type in the key term food, and this is just an example just to show you how this works. You'll see uh, WordPress themes that are centered around food. So you have some restaurant geared uh, themes. If you're into like cooking and your blog is going to be about that, maybe showing like recipes and the like, then you can type in the word food. And of course, all of these themes here, guys, they're totally customizable. You can change it, put your own, you know, logo, business information there. And it's like totally easy uh, to do that, right? Pizza. Let me go back up. I don't want to get hungry, guys. I want you guys to be hungry. Let's type in something like uh, construction. So just plugging in different keywords, guys, so you, you can see how this really works. And you can see themes that are, again, that are centered around construction, which is uh, pretty cool, I think, right? If you type in, let's say, SEO. And again, I'm just plugging in different terms as we go. And you can see themes that, again, are centered around SEO, which is pretty cool, I think, right? Um, if you enter like sports, oops, sports, then you will see themes that are centered around sports, right? So it's pretty cool, I think. Pretty cool. Uh, let's say that you guys are into fitness, maybe weight loss, maybe you want to promote um, like weight loss pills or maybe some supplements or maybe some products that you sell or promote online, maybe with ClickBank or another uh, affiliate program out there. And this is just an example. Again, these are themes that are centered around fitness. And if you're doing like yoga, weight loss, um, you're going to be like a trainer or something of the like. Uh, again, you just type in an overall uh, keyword and that keyword will help you to find different themes that are centered around what it is that you do. So I'm going to type in photography and hopefully you guys get the picture, you know, with this. It's really easy to find themes that are centered around what you do, right? Really doesn't matter. What does matter is that you find a theme that works out for you. So again, if you want to see what a theme looks like, you just click on preview. And if you like it, install it. And that's the theme that's going to be on your very website itself. So I just wanted to show you guys how themes work, you know, when it comes to, you know, like creating, you know, websites online. Of course, these are some free themes that are really great. But if you want themes that have like more functionality, you know, online, they give you more like features to do things above and beyond. Um, I will have uh, some links right below of some premium themes that I highly recommend that you guys check out. And I'll leave the links uh, right below for you. The next thing that I wanted to talk about, guys, in this uh, Green Geek tutorial are uh, permalinks. Now, permalinks really, they, they help your website to rank a lot higher. Uh, what I'm going to do right now, let me go back to permalinks down here. We're going to go to settings. Click on permalinks, do that. And I want you to click on permalinks because you know when you guys had that, you saw that sample post, it was like, hello world. And you notice that with the post itself right now, by default, it's set by day and night, excuse me, it's set, by, it's set at day and name. And what that means is you're gonna have your actual domain name itself, like in my case, it's blogging.money. But the uh, crazy thing is that you're gonna have the year that is posted, you're gonna have the month, the day that it was posted, and then the actual uh, tagline itself, right? Or part of the URL that describes like what you're talking about. So let's say like in my case, I wanted to talk about like how to create a website using Green Geeks, right? Now let's say that in this case, if I wanted to use this, which I don't recommend at all, basically I'm gonna have my domain name, today's date, with all these forward slashes and where it says sample post is gonna say how to create a website using Green Geeks, uh, which is too long, right? And so for SEO purposes, guys, and to really help your websites to rank higher in the search engines, and also just to clean it up, and that way people that uh, visit your website, they're not discouraged by seeing like a post that was uh, like, you know, if a, if a post was like created on your website today, but they make it to your website like six months up the road, or even a year or two years, if they see that the date itself is actually in the actual URL itself, it may discourage them and make them think that, you know, your information is out of date. So a really good way to uh, solve that 
is to just click on post name. This is highly, highly recommended, guys, that of these uh, options for permalink settings that you use post name. And it just cleans it up. It removes the date and the year and all of that extra info out of the URL itself. And that way, when you actually uh, create, you know, your website online, it's uh, cleaner and uh, it's really better, you know, for SEO itself, guys. So I wanted to talk about that uh, permalinks. And then thereafter, we're going to be talking about plugins. So we talked briefly about plugins uh, earlier. And by the way, click uh, Save Changes, guys, before you leave there. But now we're going to go back to plugins. So we talked about plugins in the beginning of this WordPress tutorial, guys, uh, for Green Geeks, how they really just add functionality to your website. Uh, when you are on um, plugins right here, you'll get this page just right here. And you guys will see some that are pre-installed on your website already, which is great. Ask Ahmed is really for blocking like spam. It's a really great plugin. Um, there is a classic editor, the one that we you know, set up uh, today. This Hello Dolly one, you can delete that. You won't need that at all. You'll see that on every new installation of WordPress uh, when creating a website itself. Keep light speed cache here. Uh, there are a lot of WordPress plugins that are out there that do help for, you know, better performance or faster page loads, you know, for your website. I recommend keeping Lightspeed there. It's uh, my preferred, not only for Green Geeks, but also for other web hosting uh, providers that I've used for creating websites. I just see that this plugin helps with, uh, you know, promoting faster page loads itself. You'll see these are here. There's WP Forms Lite, which allows you to create like contact forms on your website itself. This is great. Um, you can keep it if you like. If you want to like deactivate it, you don't want to use it, you can just deactivate it and you're on your way. What I want you to guys to do right now is uh, I want you to click on Add New up above. <laughs> do that right now. And when you click on uh, Add New, you will see again, um, there are tons and upon tons of WordPress plugins that you have access to. And just like we did with the themes, guys, the absolute best way to find uh, ideal WordPress plugins that to do what you want your website to do is to use keywords, right? It's the easiest way to do this. I mean, there are thousands upon thousands of WordPress plugins out there. And obviously, we don't have time today in this Green Geese tutorial to go over all of them, right? So what I want you to do is to type in a plugin that's really great for SEO. If you type in the word SEO, you'll see different options that pop up. There's a Yoast SEO. There's All-in-One SEO. Rank Math, which is a newer plugin that's out right now that's gaining a lot of traction online. It's very new. And you can see that they have uh, over 600,000 active installations on it, five stars. I recommend uh, using Yoast. I love Yoast. I've been using it for a long time. And it's really, really great, again, for helping your website to rank high in the search engines. It also will help you guys uh, with your H1s, your H2s, 3s, and so on. It, it'll help you with the keyword density of, you know, your content itself. So if you're creating like a post or a page, it'll let you know how many times you're using a keyword like in the actual content itself. Like just going back to the example of this post, you know, how to create a website uh, using Green Geeks. Like I'll have like my, my content right here. And this is just some random, you know, content guys that I have right here, obviously for, you know, uh, the step-by-step, -step, you know, tutorial. But again, I just wanted to show you guys, you know, what and how this really works. Like if I mentioned this key term like too many times in the actual content, Yoast will alert you of it and it'll tell you, hey, you need to remove it. Or if it's not enough, they'll let you know that you need to mention it. So whatever keyword itself that you are shooting for and you're trying to rank for, um, you know, with a given post or page, Yoast is a really great plugin uh, to have, you know, on your actual website itself. So you can just activate it, right? And so you install it, you activate it, great. It will be activated, you know, on your website itself. And every time you activate it, guys, it's just going to bring you back to um, this page right here. So if you want to continue to add plugins, you can do that. Just go to add new. And as part of this Green Geeks uh, tutorial, I wanted to tell you about some plugins that I recommend getting. One is Broken Link. If you type in that, Broken Link Checker. This is a really great plugin, guys, to install. Uh, that way, whenever you start like linking out 
you know, you're creating content, you know, on your website and you start to link out. It may be the case that a webmaster of another website that you're linking to, because maybe you have like related content, maybe they'll update their uh, website with new information. And so basically you'll get an alert if the link that um, you're linking to is, is broken, right? And you want to repair it and change it because if you don't, when visitors come to your website and they're purchasing or they're wanting to purchase your products and they're learning about your products, if they click through on a link and it's broken, um, then they're going to get like a, maybe like a, an error page itself and it may deter them. They may leave your website and go to your competition. So this plugin is a really nice plugin to have installed for your WordPress uh, websites and I highly, highly recommend, you know, having it. Ask a minute, guys, is uh, there on the website itself and it's a really nice um, plugin, you know, to have, you know, on your website itself. Um, you should know that it does cost it's five bucks per website uh, so you can do that it's great you know it's a really great you know plugin it's probably like the most popular anti-spam uh, wordpress plugin that's out there as you guys can clearly see it's been installed over five million times which is great uh, but if you want to do it like the freeway there are other plugins that are really great that also have five stars there's a server security which is a uh, really great if you scroll down, you see WordFence, which is great as well. Um, I like Anti-Spam B, so I'll just recommend that you guys install that. If you don't want to install Anti-Spam B, it's fine. You can install any of these um, Anti-Spam you know, plugins. I just recommend doing one of them and only one, and that way you have you know, some added protection for your actual website itself. Uh, so just think, just think about the overall function, guys, that you would like your website to do. If you want to have like a chat feature, like you notice we went to Green Geeks, you know, page itself earlier and you saw like a representative like pop up and they want to know, like, can I help you or something like that? Um, you can have their plugins that allow you to do just that, right? To be able to have the capability of talking to your visitors when they land on your website. So whether you're going to be like a one man or one gal show or you're going to have like other people working with you. You can set it up to allow people to chat, you know, with your visitors as well. To do that, type in the word chat. Super simple, right? And there are several plugins that pop up. And I just wanted to share a few of them with you guys. That way you can see again how this works. You'll see different plugins that are here. And all you want to do, guys, is just install the one that you feel you want to use. They all work pretty much the same. You can obviously see the ratings, what people think about them. I just recommend selecting one of them and that way you can have that capability of, you know, like chatting or speaking to people, you know, even answering questions that your visitors may have, you know, when they're uh, on your website itself, which I think is really, really great. And obviously, you know, as part of the process of creating your website, um, you want to promote it. And so, you know, social media, if you type in like that, like social media, You'll see different plugins that pop up that will allow you to share your content online or allow your visitors rather to do it for you. And so, you know, you may notice on websites that you may have like the buttons maybe on the long side, maybe the left side of the web page. They may be like right under the post on the page itself. There are plugins, guys, that allow you to give the ability to your visitors to share your content online. And it's highly, highly recommended to install at least one of these plugins that way you'll be able to do that so you can type in like social media you can type in like words like facebook you can type in um, like twitter you can type in whatever it is that you want in this box right here and basically you'll see plugins that allow you to do just that and so just to show you guys you know what i'm talking about and again i wanted to be you know very thorough you know with this green geeks tutorial to help you guys to see not only how to get your domain name and your web hosting, but also how to install WordPress and to really go about selecting a theme, show you how to switch out themes, you know, with this, the plugins that really help to give you more functionality. I wanted to go into more into depth, guys, to help you to see, you know, how this uh, process, you know, works. Okay. So if you like that, I really appreciate you guys smashing that like button. And don't forget to share this video with other people. That way they too can benefit, you know, from this. But, you know, obviously you want people to be able to share, you know, your content online. 
And so the best way to go about doing that is obviously adding, you know, like a, one of those, you know, plugins that allow you to do that. And this is Elementor. I think I told you guys about that a little bit earlier, how it allows you to build out each of your pages itself. That way you don't have to, which is uh, really, really great. Um, and so next in this, I mean, you can continue to install more plugins, guys, which is great. But um, I wanted to talk now about writing content and publishing it. So once you guys create, you know, your content itself, going back to that, once you create your content itself and you publish it, um, I wanted to go back and talk about some very important things. You know, obviously, if you want to rank, you know, high in the search engines in itself. And one thing that I told you about is that um, it's important to use like long tail keywords in the process of creating, you know, your content online itself. So, I mean, you have like, you know, your theme itself and you have your content, right? That you actually, you know, plug into like the center. But you'll notice that once you enable the Yoast plugin itself, you'll see this down here. So I wanted to draw your attention to it because there are two things that you're going to want to do. What you're going to do right here, guys, is you're going to see that you can have like, um, like, a, like a, a meta description that's right here. And the meta description, guys, you're going to plug it in right here. And what the meta description is, is basically you may notice that when you perform any search online, um, the websites that pop up, you'll notice that you have a, a title. You'll have a link right below it. And right below that, you'll see a description that gives you a brief uh, view or overview of what to expect, you know, on the web page itself. So the meta description is that. So whatever you type in your meta description, I recommend using your keywords in that. And that way, uh, when it uh, pops up in the SERPs, you know, people will see not only the title of your site, your the title of your post, but they'll see your link. And then right below it, they'll see a brief description of what they should expect to learn, you know, on your website itself. And once again, once you start plugging in, you know, like the, uh, the content itself, like I was telling you guys about, um, you know, Yoast before, I'm just going to type it in, create a website using Green Geeks. So let's suppose that this is our actual topic itself, the title of the post itself. And when you scroll down, you'll see where it says readability. It says, okay, it's good. So obviously we can improve some things, right? Um, that particular keyword or the title itself, I can type in the focus word itself. And this is a focus key phrase or keyword that you want to use if you to rank in the search engines, okay? So let's say I'm targeting something like how to create websites using Green Geeks. This is just an example, guys. You can type in whatever key phrase that you want to do. For example, if you guys are talking about weight loss, you may have something like um, how to lose weight in seven days, how to lose weight in 21 days, how to lose weight using X product. Those are examples of long tail key phrases. So whatever key phrase or focus key phrase you want to uh, hone in on, that's what you're going to type in right there. And what's going to happen is um, the SEO plugin Joe's is going to search your content, scan your content to see how many times you've actually um, used that key phrase in your content itself. So that's how that really works. And if you need to improve it, you'll obviously see right here, it says the readability is okay, but it's not green. You want it to be green. Both of these uh, checks right here where it says needs improvement. What it means is that you need to incorporate that key phrase in your, in your actual content itself. And obviously when you're adding or embedding like videos or images and things that are like, um, you can add like, um, alternate, you know, keywords for the images itself. And you can add those, you know, in there, perhaps on another video, I'll talk more in detail about that. But again, I just wanted to share with you how that really works when it comes to, you know, again, publishing the content online. Me personally, um, I like to create content that has at least 2000 words. Um, I do that because I know that depending on the key term itself, most posts rank on Google's first page if they have at least that amount, at least 1,800 to 2,000 uh, words 
on the page itself, right? And so once you start creating, you know, more content, you get the hang of this as a new entrepreneur, a new blogger, you know, online, you guys will see again, when you make really good use of this plugin, it is amazing, guys. It'll really help you out uh, to rank higher, you know, in the search engines. And obviously, if you're going to be, you know, creating you know, more content, you guys want to promote it online. And that's the very next thing that I wanted to talk about, different ways that you can promote your website online. I went through a lot of things today in the Screen Geeks, a tutorial just to give you guys an overall picture of not only how to create the website, and select uh, themes and plugins and things of that nature. But also, you, you want to know how to promote your content online. And I have a few ideas here. You know, obviously, video marketing is like the number one. You can use YouTube, like we're doing right now. And you guys are watching this Green Geeks tutorial, learning how to use Green Geeks, how to create sites, you know, with them. Whatever it is that you guys are promoting or wanting to promote or make money with online, video marketing with YouTube, Vimeo. They are ideal and they're 100% free, guys. It's very targeted traffic. And uh, whatever it is that you're promoting, uh, I highly recommend that you guys uh, implement um, YouTube, you know, in that strategy as well. Um, of course, you know, you can start, your, you know, your channel and you start, you know, creating like uh, videos. You can probably do like five to 10 minute videos. I think that 10 minute videos, like 10 to 15 minutes like that, tend to rank, you know, a lot higher. So I highly recommend, you know, doing that. Um, you can follow up with your customers by using uh, email marketing. So people land on your websites or your website that you have. And uh, you can grab maybe their email address to follow up with them and give them like updates or maybe promos or specials that you guys, you know, may be offering. A really, really great way to do that is using uh, GetResponse. I'll leave a link right below with a discount for you guys today. Just thanking you for watching this Green Geeks a tutorial. I highly recommend using GetResponse. They're really great um, with you know helping you to again extend or, or or expand you know your brand you know online and helping helping you to stay in contact with your clients you know online. Um, you may not be the type to write you know content or to create you know content or even videos. And so a really great source for you if you're not that kind of person is to look uh, for like freelancers online. So a really great place to do that, guys, is on Fiverr. If you go to uh, Fiverr, I have a link that's uh, right below. If we uh, go to Fiverr, you guys will notice that, you know, on their page itself, guys, you have freelancers that do everything under the sun. I mean, they'll create content for you. They'll help you out with SEO. They'll create thumbnails, you know, for your YouTube videos. Uh, they'll get you backlinks to help you to rank higher. Um, you can do like people that are edit videos, like in this case is YouTube video. You can do the video itself. And if you don't have time to edit it, you can hire somebody to do that for cheap. And so just about any service that you can imagine under the sun, you can find somebody who's a freelancer who does it. And I highly recommend using Fiverr to do that. And again, I'll drop a link, you know, right below. Some other really great places, guys, to promote, you know, online, you know, your website with Green Geeks is um, with social media platforms. Of course, you know, you can embed, you know, like plugins or have plugins, you know, on the site for visitors to share your content. But another great way is to tap into sites like uh, Reddit and also Quora.com. Uh, they're amazing websites that get millions of visitors each and every month. And the cool thing about like Quora and Reddit is that people go there to ask questions about everything under the sun. I mean, you guys are on, on YouTube right now watching this video. And it's interesting that, you know, when people have questions, they go to YouTube because likely there's a video out there that talks about what it is that they're thinking about, right? And Reddit and Quora is the same way. And the cool thing is, is that you can start a free account, you know, with them, with Reddit, with Quora, and you can answer questions for people that are searching or really asking questions about things that you're knowledgeable about. So if you into like, uh, like in my case, I'm into like marketing and web design. So I kind of like to pair or partner with people that, you know, are looking for answers to questions about web design or marketing. So people want to know how to create a website using WordPress. They want to know how to use a, how to create a website using Drupal or Joomla or how to do this or that. Those are the types of questions that really, you know, like interest me, helping entrepreneurs to do that. And so what you want to do is think about the overall theme, whether you're into like health and wellness, 
you're into marketing, you're into affiliate marketing, you're into this or that. Um, you want to think about the overall theme. Uh, that way, when you get to like Reddit and Quora, you guys can set up an account and you can uh, tap into the questions that people are asking, answer their questions, be helpful. And on the tail end, you can leave a link going back to your website. And so it's free traffic, it's targeted, and it helps to really, um, you know, get your name and your brand, you know, out there, guys. So what I wanted to do in this uh, video tutorial today with Green Geeks is one, as I mentioned before, I wanted to share with you guys how to create a simple website. Of course, what you're looking at right now, uh, all this website needs is to have, you know, one content add your images. It's very simple to do that, guys. And uh, once you start promoting your website online, again, the more you, you know, you put out more content that people want to read, uh, the more exposure you'll get to your brand. And essentially, you'll make, you know, more money, you know, by doing it. And so I wanted to uh, take out, again, a few moments a day to share with you guys um, the simple steps that you can follow to create a simple website, you know, online, okay? Now, what I want you guys to do is to tell me what you thought about this Green Geeks uh, tutorial. Was it thorough? Did I leave something out? Was there a question that you had about one of the steps or something that we did today that uh, maybe you didn't understand? I really, really appreciate your feedback, guys, on this LearningNet.com uh, channel. I do reach out to all of those that, you know, drop comments because I'm really interested in it. Um, I just ask a little patience, you know, because when you have a channel, you know, like this, we have a lot of videos, you get a lot of comments, it may take me some time to uh, respond, but do leave your comments, do leave your feedback. I really, really appreciate you guys uh, doing that. So I just wanted to do my best here, you know, with this Green Geeks uh, tutorial to help you guys to see how to create a very simple website, a blog, you know, online. You guys already know what to do. You already know how to change your themes. You know how, you know how to add you know, posts and pages and how to publish them, how to add your keywords, you know, your tags. You guys know how to do that. You learned that today. The main thing is really just going out and doing it and promoting it, guys. So I really appreciate you guys watching this video. Um, leave your comments below. And if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button. And I hope you guys stay well during COVID. Take care. Make it a great day.